This is a really good dish. You sound like Goofy. I don't know. I'm just going to do it. We go down together. We go down together. Hey guys, I've done food reviews at McDonald's, Burger King, a bunch of airlines, 7 Eleven. This is the first time I'm doing a food review at a place I love, even when I'm not hungry. I've always loved Ikea. Even just walking around gives you this nice and cozy, homey feel. This is so cool. You can take these carts and put trays on them so you can order extra food. Drinks. Here's the cake aisle, apple cake, we got blueberry cheesecake. Oh, this chocolate cake looks good. Also gonna get a Swedish apple cake. Chicken pie, cheese pie. Hi, can I get some meatballs? Uh, yeah, please, thank you. Eight treasure Lola's rice. Oh, that's great. Do you have the fried chicken? Uh, two, please. Thank you. Ooh, cheese tart. I'm glad I got two trays. Oh, spring roll and the show my. The Nasi Lamak just came out. Everybody's waiting on that. There's a line right now. I never carted trays of my food anywhere before in Ikea. <laughs> it's quite an experience. I don't think I've been this excited to eat at Ikea in a long time. Usually what I get here is just the meatballs, that's it. But look at all this incredible stuff they offer at the Singapore Ikea. Nasi lemak, freshly fried chicken, shomai, egg rolls, dessert cheese tarts, eight treasure rice. And of course I had to get the classic meatball because that's just what you gotta do when you come to Ikea. I I'm really sorry about the broccoli. It was not supposed to be there. This is like the ultimate food bomb. Right here, it's just, I'm gonna try to go through the hotter foods first. Let's do the fried chicken. This thing, crispy on the outside, looks very well seasoned, nicely fried. Comes with a set of peanuts, chili sauce, cucumbers, rice, and just a whole egg. Breakfast in Ikea. Hmm, that's better than I thought. Juicy, seasoned really well. Very flavorful chicken. I feel like there's some extra spices on this chicken as well to give it that extra, mm, you know? And this has been sitting around for about 10 minutes. I bet as soon as you get it and bite into it, it'll even be much better than this. And of course, you gotta chase that with some chili, rice, crunchy peanuts. I'm just gonna crush my egg so I can scoop it a little easier. And then give you this little hot dog. Ooh, it's coconut rice. Good job, Ikea. That's some pretty good coconut rice. Some eggs, some hot dogs, little crispy peanuts. So, mm, wow. I think that bite is really juicy. Buy the chicken, chase it with a little bit of everything else. Oh, that's actually really good chili sauce. This isn't gonna be like nasi lemak at a hawker center. And this is just like the everyday common hot dog. But for about 350 US dollars, this is a pretty decent meal. I like the chicken, love the chili sauce. This is the eight treasure steamed rice and it's cooked in a banana leaf. Oh man, this is a hefty pack of steamed rice. This is some sticky rice. Inside you got some lap chung. Wow, that's some crazy aroma from this dish. You smell the banana leaf, you smell something sweet. You smell the savory items in here as well. There's sausage, there's chestnuts in here, there's chicken, mushrooms, ginkgo nuts. Basically, this is what a lot of Chinese people eat during the new year, and it's supposed to bring prosperity and luck, and hopefully a lot of yumminess. 
I can't believe this is from Ikea. I don't eat this dish a lot, so the connoisseurs of this dish might, might frown at me, but this is delicious. Mm. The rice is slightly sweet. All the flavors between the meats and the nuts, the sweetness and the savory is a great balance. Also, there's an egg yolk here, salted egg yolk. This is a really good dish. You sound like goofy. I don't know what you're talking about. Seriously. If I sat in a restaurant and you brought this out, I wouldn't complain to you. The salted egg is a great touch. I think with a little chili sauce. Okay, that doesn't really work. It's really sweet for this, but overall, oh, so yummy. This I had to try spring rolls and show my. I mean, they, they look like that of the frozen variety. <laughs> Probably not gonna be the best thing. Yep, it tastes exactly like shawmai you will find in Ikea for about a dollar. Spring roll. Same goes for this. These are very skippable items. Much better than the shawmai though. This is the cheese pie. Yeah, it's not my thing. We really can't taste the difference between the crust and the inside. It all kind of blends together. There's no textural difference. It's really cheesy though, but that's all it is. It's just really cheesy. The chicken pie, good sign, flaky crust. This is not a bad pie. Crust, as you can see, very, very flaky. Nice buttery flavor, good amount of filling inside. Chicken tastes okay, nice and juicy. It just tastes like a really flaky chicken pot pie. I wish they gave me some extra nasi lemak chili sauce because that actually will make this a lot better and, and perhaps even save the spring rolls. But the shell mine, that's DOA. And of course, every time I go to Ikea, Gotta get the meatballs. They're the same meatballs that we'll find in the US Ikea, but it's just not an Ikea experience until meatballs are involved. Seriously, move aside. Don't even touch my gravy. It's good here, as it is all over the world. Fantastic flavored mystery meats. The one dish can't possibly mess up. Always delicious. This I wanted to try while it's still sort of warm. This is the cheese heart. Oh, so bouncy and light. Crust feels very crumbly. Let's take a look and see what's inside. Oh my gosh, we might have a winner here. Oh, that is a beautiful cheese tart. Mmm, bless you Ikea for bringing this to the world. I love everything about it. If this thing was a girl, I'd be on my knees right now with a ring. This more than makes up for the other cheese thingy. The filling, sweet, creamy, cheesy, not that heavy, paired with just the most angelically crumbly crust. That's after the tart's been sitting on my table for about 15 minutes. Imagine having hot from the oven. Oh, I can't even imagine that. It's a th the thought is just too naughty. That is by far the best thing I've eaten at an Ikea anywhere. I really doubt they can top that. Ugh. Now that just made this apple pie look like a doorstop. I'm really sorry. You, sh you really shouldn't have to follow that cheese tart. It's not good anyway, especially after that cheese tart. I, I just can't even look at this right now. This chocolate pie thing looks like it has some potential. Oh, that's good. I mean, it's no cheese tart, but wow, this is good. Oh, I'm so happy the last thing I eat is not gonna be this apple pie imposter thing. And this thing's got a little bit of everything. It's chocolatey, crunchy, a nice nutty flavor. There's some coconut in here as well. It is a filling, very overindulgent piece of cake. But God, it's good. The best thing I have today, in terms of the savory item, for sure the fried chicken. That was the best thing about the nasi lemak. Second place goes to the A Treasure Rice. That was a solid dish. Dessert, of course, cheese tart, thousand kisses. This chocolate almond cake is delicious as well. Overall, I think the food is pretty good. If you just stick with the chicken, the rice, the almond cake, and the cheese tart, you're gonna have a really good, very, very inexpensive meal. Right, I gotta get out of here. Also, what I love about Ikea is, after you had a big meal and food coma setting in, just find yourself in bed and take a nap. Ugh. Just kidding, guys. Don't, don't sleep in Ikea. But I, I'm not kidding about that nap, so until we get again, bye. A few moments later. Before I go and take that nap, I need something was missing on this Ikea food day. Gotta get an ice cream. Soya ice cream. 50, that's like 30 cents. How does this place even stay open? They also have a hot dog bolognese and some mushroom cream puffs. What? is this wizardry. Hi, can I have the hot dog bolognese, the 
mushroom cream puffs, and the muffin with the chocolate filling, and then ice cream cone. All that for about five bucks. These are the mushroom puffs. Huh, ah, it's like a magic trick. It's actually empty. The crust is good, very flaky and buttery. But seriously, I mean, this must be how treasure hunters feel when they open a chest and find nothing inside. Hot dog bolognese. Basically a fancy way to say chili dog. Unlike the delicious hot dogs I had in the Philippines, this hot dog really doesn't have much flavor to it. I'll probably only see this once ever in my life. I think this hot dog needs more salt. So this is the chocolate muffin. It's warm. Oh man, now this has got some potential. Don't even think about taking a bite out of this muffin without some liquid right next to you. Oh, I really just want to try all these out, but what I really wanted was an ice cream call. So this machine is to give you the little token, and I'm gonna try the soya ice cream. Put the token in, put your cone here, push the button. It's actually kind of fun. There you go. Ooh. Mm. Now this feels like an Ikea day. And soya ice cream, really, really good. Finally time for that nap. See you.